Hello, 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 hello. Okay. Hi guys, welcome to another video. If you're new, hey, do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're returning subscriber, mwah, thank you so much for coming back. I really, really appreciate you. Yeah. So, you guys, today I'm about to do something that we we'll all love to do, and that is pick my August TBR. Oh! filming a book all so I have more books on my TBR and I, I still have some books inside that box over there and then these ones here that I just unboxed so this should be fun <laughs> last month I did not read some books that I thought I was going to read like um, let's move this closer come closer to me like I didn't get to love and other words and I also didn't read the chain so these two books I I should probably add them to my current tbr august tbr come on why is this box okay so this is my tbr jar full of prompts and you guys already know the drill so let's get straight into it i, I don't think i'll be picking a yellow one this time around because i have a lot of new books i want to actually read so we're going to just pick from the white ones only so this one says a book with a three word title three words three words okay so i have I have these ones, Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon, and I also have Stay With Me by Ayobami Adebayo, this one. So I think I'll actually go with Ayobami's Stay With Me because everybody has been talking about this book and I really, really want to get to it. Let's pick another one. I don't even know what the story is about. That's the funny thing. And people just talk. Uh, okay. A yellow book. Finally, okay, so I have quite a lot of yellow books as you can see I have I have love theoretically Okay, I have yellow face. I have the bodyguard and I'm thinking cuz I want to read yellow face. I want to read the bodyguard I've been wanting to read the bodyguard for a while and I also want to read love theoretically Oh my god, is this yellow right? This is yellow right? You guys, okay, fine. Let's pick love theoretically for now. I hope I'll have some other reason to pick the bodyguard and yellow face. Let's pick another one. No, I don't know what they are doing. That is making a lot of noise now. A book you've had for a long time. Um, for a long time. The book I've had for a very long time is this one, Love at Second Sight by Cara Galloway. Uh, it's an Alloquin book. I think I've had this since I was in school, secondary school, because I used to buy books uh, at the street. So I probably bought this maybe 200 naira then, and I've not read it. So it would be a nice time to actually read it. Honestly, now that I read books that are this size, Picking up a book that is this size is quite yeah to me, but <laughs> and it's Al Queen, so I know what to expect. The love is always kind of instant, kind of like that. Ah, please let me pick something else that is going to be exciting, like love theoretically. Uh, 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 a book with a title that contains punctuations. Punctuations. Okay. Is and baby, and is it a punctuation? No, comma, full stop, exclamation mark, right? I have to go with this one. Get a Life, Chloe Brown. It's the first book in this standalone series, I guess, by Talia Herbert. So I'm so happy about this because I've been wanting to actually get into it. So this is our opportunity, and it has a, it has a question mark. No, that's not a question. So <laughs> it has a comma here. <laughs> this comma here. Get a life. Chloe Brown, okay? We got pick another, we got pick another one. I picked four already. A book you think will rate five stars. I'm not even looking in this direction. Oh, oh my god, okay. I don't know. I know Taylor Jenkins reads books are going to be like five stars for me because the two I've read, Malibu Rising and Get a Life, Chloe Brown. Uh, <laughs> And and Carisoto is back. Those two books actually have been five stars for me. So I feel like any book I read by Taylor Jenkins should be five stars. Then I have these three that I just got: One True Loves, maybe Nanda Life, and The Seven Husbands of Ebi Hugo. So 
and then I also have Daisy Jones and the Six. Uh, but Daisy Jones and the Six is on my on my cart, so why don't I just pick this one instead? I know how I really, 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 really wanted to pick one of these new ones, but let me just let let's chill, let's chill, okay? Let's chill. Let's take let's take Daisy Jones and the Six because our other books. Look at it. Look at how she's cute. Look at how she's cute. So. One, two, three, four, five, five. I think I should be able to pick about three more. Okay, let's do this. Let's do a book that matches the current season. We are in summer right now. So I have to pick like a summer book. To be honest, I don't know what the summer book will be like. Huh. So there should be like a beach. There should be like... I'll hold off on this one because when I put this prompt, I was thinking about winter. So like, I'll just pick it in winter because <laughs> I'm sure about winter books. But summer, it's all, always summer in my country. So that'll be a little bit difficult for me to pick. And I don't even know which one is depicting summer here. Even from my new books, they are all kind of like, let's just pick another prompt. So this one says, a hotter you've never read. Oh, so gladly I will pick The Bodyguard because I've not read any book by Catherine Center and I've been wanting to pick this, like I said. So in this book, she is the bodyguard and he's the person being protected. It's the other way, reverse, you know, reverse. That's actually really sweet. Let's pick one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. A book with a random letter. I should ask babe. Okay, babe, pick a random letter. What? <laughs> Why is it pink Z? <laughs> what book starts with Z? <laughs> no book here yeah, starts with a Z. I've never ever seen a book that starts with a Z. What? Pick another one, Joe. Eh? What? It pink letter X? What the fuck? <laughs> Baby. Pick another letter, Joe. J. J. Why? Why is he picking weird letters? <laughs> J. Another letter. O. Why is he picking weird letters? I don't get it. O. 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 o, o. M. He pick M. Oh, I've seen all, don't worry. Once Upon a Broken Heart. It's a fantasy series. Honestly, people said if you want to get into fantasy, like this is a very, very good place to start. Or with the Cruel Prince that I also just got, but since they picked oh, oh, so let's go with this one. <laughs> so I think this should be okay because I don't want to actually do too much and then be pressured. Last month, I went on a staycation, so I wasn't able to read as much books, and I don't know. And I also want to body read with somebody, one of my friends, new friends. She's a bookstamp grandma. <laughs> so I want to body read with her. So I'm sure we'll probably read... Um... Oh my God, she wants me to read Verity. So I might actually still read Verity. And then we were reading before the coffee gets cold together. So I think I'll pick up the book too also. And also Twisted 8. I want to actually read Twisted 8 because, you know, last month I read Twisted Games, so I should be able to read Twisted 8. And I think those are the two books I would like to actually get into, aside these ones that I have picked. So let's go through this again. Once Upon a Broken Heart, it says never deal with faith. For as long as she can remember, Evelyn Fox has believed in happily ever after until she learns that the love of her life is about to marry another and her dreams are shattered. Desperate to stop the wedding and heal her wounded heart, Evelyn strikes a deal with the charismatic but wicked prince of hearts. In exchange for his help, he asks for three kisses to be given at the time and place of his choosing. But after Evelyn's first promised kiss, she learns that bargaining with an immortal is a dangerous game and that the prince of hearts wants far more than her. Ah, he wants far more from her than she pledged. He has plans for Evelyn, plans that will heed her hand in the greatest happily ever after or the most exquisite tragedy tragedy oh boy never actually make a deal with the devil that's what i learned from that blob catherine centers the bodyguard she's got his back he's got her back they've got a secret what could possibly go wrong <laughs> 
Okay, so I didn't read. I'm not reading the whole entire blog. I'm just reading the red, red, red uh, line. So I think that's all I need to know. Daisy Jones and the Six. They are a band of six, and it's more like an interview. People say when you want to read this, it's better for you to listen to the audiobook because they kind of the way they explain it is actually really cool. But I don't do audiobooks. <laughs> So I'm definitely going to read that. The, the blob says, everybody knows Daisy Jones and the Six. Their sound defined an era. Their albums were on every turntable. They sold out arenas from coast to coast. Then on 12th August 1979, I was not born then, Daisy Jones walked barefoot onto the stage at the Whiskey and it all came crashing down. Oof. Everyone was there. Everyone remembers it differently. Nobody knew why they split until now. Actually, that's a common thing with uh, bands. They always split. They always split. I, I don't think I've seen a band that, that has not split. Uh, One Direction split. Maybe maybe the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees didn't split their brothers. Then who else didn't split? And most bands actually split. So yeah. Get the life, Chloe Brown. Oh my god, I will really love this book so much. Chloe Brown is a chronically ill computer geek with a goal, a plan, and a list. After almost but not quite dying, she's come up with a list of directives to help her get a life. Enjoy a drunk out, <laughs> enjoy a drunken night out, ride a motorbike, go camping, have meaningless but thoroughly enjoyable sex, travel the world with nothing but a hand luggage, and do something bad. Can you actually add that to your list? Doing something bad. But it's not easy being bad, even when you've written out step by step guidelines. What Chloe needs is a teacher, and she knows just the man for the job. Oh, oh, bad boy, good girl vibe. Okay. Redford Red Morgan with tattoos and a motorbike. Okay. Red is the perfect helper in a mission to rebel but as they spend more time together chloe realizes there's much more to him than his tough exterior implies soon she's left one thing more from him than she ever expected maybe there's more to life than at least ever imagined oh this is good this is gonna be so good love at second sight it was no kindred spirit psychics charles Yost knew all about skepticism. It was written all over Ross Davies' face when she announced she was his birthday gift. Ooh, she was his birthday gift. Okay. <clears throat> that is deep. <laughs> but she had a job to do, help him locate the long-lost family treasure. And whether the honky history professor liked it or not, Charlie was intent on using ESP. ESP. What is ESP? I don't know. Treasure hunting in the Rockies was no party. Ross soon found out. Charlie was driving him crazy. At night, she was a temptress. In the daytime, a visionary. Still, Ross refused to acknowledge her powers until he realized he needed to embrace her beliefs as well as her body for their love to last. Okay, temptation. It says temptation. Oh, Alejandro Woods. Love theoretically. Okay, so this one is going to be about STEM stuff. It's going to be similar to the love hypothesis and love on the brain, according to what people said. And I've read, lo I've, I've read, I've read love hypothesis. I've read love on the brain, and I love them. They are both five stars. Uh, well, I gave love hypothesis not five stars because of a little miscommunication, but no. Uh, they were really really good reads. I love Aliza Wood. So I'm not going to be reading the blog of this because I just want to actually get into it. And most especially when people said it's also similar, like the STEM and everything, ladies in STEM and all that. Yeah, and the guy is gonna be huge, of course. I know it's gonna be huge because it's always huge, and the girl is gonna be petite. Yeah, let's just see how this will go, okay? Stay with me by Ayobami Adebayo. Yejide is open for a miracle for a child. It is all her husband wants, all her mother-in-law wants, and she has tried everything, arduous privileges, medical consultations, dances with prophets, appeals to God. Honestly, if you are African or if you are Nigerian, you understand this, the quest for looking for a child. They make you do so many things, they make you eat so many things, they make you believe that it's what you do that will get you a child, whereas God just gives children anyway. But when her in-laws insist upon a new wife, it is too much for Yedidje to bear. It will lead to jealousy, betrayal, and despair. Unraveling against the social and political turbulence of the 80s in Nigeria, Stay With Me sings with the voices, colors, joys, and fears of the time. This is a devastating story of the fragility of marriage love, the undoing of family, the wretchedness of grief, and the all-consuming bonds of motherhood. 
Stay With Me is a tale about our desperate attempts to save ourselves and those we love from heartbreak. Wow, that's actually really deep. And I think I understand why people rave about this book a lot. So, we've come to the end of the video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please tell me which one I should start with that you've read that you love. And also, let me know which ones you've read that you think I should. I, I think I'm just repeating myself, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I'll see you guys in my next video. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button. And thank you. Deuces. Why is everything tumbling down? Oh, I don't need to show you guys, I just realized. Uh, focus on me, focus on me, bring the light. Okay, yes, good. All that talking makes me dehydrated. And that is home. Oh.